Good evening, demons and demonesses. The name's Kwame, and you're watching another episode of Satanic Panic. Everybody. Haven't seen you guys in quite a while. Apologize about the long wait. Um, I was going through a few personal issues and then some auto issues with my car. And then that, on top of all that, all the overtime and all the projects that I'm doing at my job. So besides all that, I think I have a little bit more time to, you know, do some more metal reviews, some videos, some reviews, and some commentary on a few things. But tonight I want to talk about a band, um, a band that I had saw quite a few months ago. Um, what happened was it was over in Ardmore, Pennsylvania at this spot called The Nails. Really nice venue and also has lots of craft beers. So if you're into craft beers, um, that's definitely the place you need to go. But I was invited by the members of Eresius Fragment and also the members of IAT. And um, they were performing with quite a few other bands, but one of them um, absolutely stuck out. And it was actually recommended to me by the IAT band. And this band, it, it, uh, let's just say it absolutely blew me away. It's my first time seeing them, um, first time being at, like I said, first time being at this venue. And from what I heard, they're quite a very popular band. They're growing, blowing up pretty, pretty much to say. And this band that I want to tell you about is known as Malthus. Let's see what they got. Malthus was formed in 2012 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Their style of music mostly consists of black metal, death metal, and progressive metal. In 2015, they released an EP known as The Conjuring. Um, I own it, um, I've gotten it at the first show that I've been to at The Nail. And um, it features five tracks, uh, The Conjuring, Shards of Truth, Legions, Visions of the Burning Darkness, and Heaven's Fall. Now, basically... It tells the story of a demon named Malthus, who is the second in command in hell, uh, Satan's right hand man. He's a very, very powerful demon. I mean, just looking at the artwork on this thing, this thing is like freaking, this thing is freaking amazing. I wish I could just have blow this up bigger, put in a poster, because I barely have any metal posters in my room as it is. Now, fast forward to 2018, and that's when they released their first debut album, The 39th Spirit which features Invoking the 39 Spirits, Volcanic Winter, Floods, Legions, You Will Lead My Armies, Visions of the Burning Darkness, Spells of Destruction, Heaven's Fall Part 1, Condemnation, and Heaven's Fall Part 2, The Aftermath. But enough with my rambling, let's see them live in an action.
Now, one thing stood out from the band. Could you guess what it is? All right, time's up. They have a frigging violinist. I mean, I mean that's kind of rare for you. I shouldn't say rare, but you don't really see that a lot, especially with a lot of uh, metal bands. You know, you, I mean, you you do got the guitarist, you got your bass, you got your, your like I said, you got your lead, your rhythm, your drummer, or or the basic essentials. Uh, my, but one of the things that two of the things that really impressed me, right, are keyboardists. You know, you know, you, whether it's a synthetic keyboard or an actual piano, or you know, an an odd, an odd instrument out like a violin, like that. That really just stood out for me right there. Uh, you know, I, I I like it. You know, most bands, you know, they usually just play if they need a violin or some, you know, non-rock instrument. They'll usually play a backing track. No, they got an actual live fucking violinist. And she's a member of the band. Could you believe that? No, that this is fucking amazing. I love, I love this. I absolutely love this. I will say this. Two of the things that definitely belong together is lead guitar and violin. I mean, that, 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 that's what I have to say. But I would love to see more solos from the violinist. That's the, that's the only really critique that I have at the moment. I'd love to see, you know, a lot, a lot more solos. Because, like I said, that, that, that was amazing. I mean, you don't really see that a lot in heavy metal, you know, a live, with a live violinist. I think the last metal band I know that, uh, well, I, I had, should say I have seen that actually had live musicians was, it was a, it was a early, I think back in the early 2000s, KISS went on tour with a, a full live orchestra. They had like a choir, they had a brass section, they had a string section, they had a drum, they had a uh, drumming with timpanis. Uh, I will say that that was possibly Kiss is heavier, but, but about enough with, about Kiss. I know, getting off track, but you know, when you see a work of art such as Malthus, you can't help but think about all the other great, great bands and try to make a comparison here or a comparison there. Uh, bloody hell. Now, as for the drumming, if you really want me to explain how good the drummer is, my suggestion would be to listen to the song Legions off of the 39th Spirit, all right? Just the, the, just the beginning of the song, all right? Just the beginning. That is enough to tell you how good this friggin' drama is, all right? I, I, I mean, I would play it for you, but I think it'd be best if you actually cop the album. I think it's available on Bandcamp, I do believe. Um, both, yeah, both uh, 39th Spirits and The Conjuring are, are available on Bandcamp. Now, when it comes to the 39th Spirit, this is an album that you need to both own digitally and physically. Now, um, some, I, I know some people are going to say, oh, well, I'd just rather uh, download it digitally. Well, the benefit of downloading it digitally is that the digital album has 10 tracks. Um, it features one song called Red Constellations, which is not on the physical album. Um, how, however, like I said, it's it's available on Bandcamp. So um, if you want to get the whole ten track album, uh, just uh, it's it's only six bucks, which is actually fairly good for for an album. So um, yeah, it's, yeah, six bucks on Bandcamp. And gosh, I'm not even sure how much I got for the physical album. But me being the type of guy that I am, I like to have you know a, something physical, something to hold, something I can you know pop into my CD player, you know. I have an old truck. It's a 2000 Ford Ranger, so it, it doesn't have Bluetooth, so only thing I can rely on is CDs if I'm speeding down the highway. But anyway, yes, um, this, the physical media is always good, though. I have the, I have the patch. Um, they, they do have patches. I think they have uh, stickers. Um, the shirt, though, the, that's one of the things that I'm greatly going to regret, is that I didn't, um, I didn't cop a shirt. But, like I said, this is probably be, this won't be the last time I see this band. I do look forward to seeing them again. I know they're going to go on tour, I think. They, would you believe they announced on my birthday that they're going on tour through, through, through my continent, Europe. Yes, they're going on tour through Europe. I think they're starting in Germany. And I'm not exactly sure where the tour exactly ends. I think it ends in... Is it, no, I don't think, I don't know, it's not England. England, I think, is like the third stop of their tour. I think the final stop on, on, the, on the friggin' tour is, uh, damn it, it, it it's, it's slipping. 
I think it's might it, it, maybe Hungary. Yeah, um, it it starts in Germany and ends in Hungary. So they're they're going to go, they're going to go all throughout Europe. Um, if I, if I can pull up, the, yep, I pulled it up right here. This is the bill. This is all where all they're going. I mean, th this is actually pretty big for the band right here. I mean, go. I mean, could you imagine 2012? You're just touring through the United States. 2019, you're going all over Europe. So won't be long before I hope hopefully see them. You know, maybe in you know Japan or friggin' Australia or India. Or any any country that has a really nice metal scene. All right, but I I I wish them ma major major props on this tour right here. All right, because. Like I said, if you ever get the if if, if a band ever gets the uh, the tour through Europe, right? That's how you know they're destined for success. Now back to the Thirty Nine Spirit again. A song that I also like from that album is Spells of Destruction, mostly because of the bass line in that song. Now the bass line really really goes in well with the lead and the rhythm guitar, but. Either way, I mean, if you ever get a chance to own the, either the EP or the um, or the, their debut album, I would recommend, like I said, buying both of them and also um, getting the digital copies as well. And that's Malthus Demons and Demonesses. Um, like I said, I enjoyed them seeing at the nail, and like I said, I really, really hope I do see them again. This Philadelphia is not too far from Jersey, so. Nine times out of ten, they're going to be doing some shows. Um, possibly, maybe before the tour, maybe after the tour. <sighs> oh, excuse me, I, it's like midnight right now. I know that's when I promised you guys this video, but it um, took a while for me to render all of the footage and compile it all together, and then it turns out it got corrupted and I had to refilm everything. Um, but other than that, um, Malfitz gets the Satanic Panic rating of a 10 out of 10. My only, my only criticism is that, like, like I said, and I, I mentioned it before, <laughs> is that I wish there were more, you know, violin solos. But, you know, she, um, it, like I said, um, it's, she's a new addition to the band, so maybe, uh, maybe they have, maybe they have more solos in store for her. I, I honestly enjoyed that, you know. Like I said, you know, when you have, when you're unique like that, when you add classical instruments in with heavy metal, I mean, classical and metal were made to be together anyway. But when you add classical with metal, you're you're down to get, you know, the perfect cocktail, the perfect concoction, as I should say. So, well, I have to wish you guys good night. I uh, apologize about the top setup. I uh, apologize about, you know, being away for so long. I got work in the morning and everything, so better wrap this up right now. Hope you guys had a good one. Check them out. Follow them on Facebook. Uh, follow them on YouTube. And um, visit their Bandcamp camp, camp, uh, page. All right, you guys. You have a good one. Stay metal. And that's it.